Hey guys, welcome to Excel channel. Now we are moving forward to financial functions and formulas in Excel. So first video was about the overview of these functions like PMT and PR rate and etc. So in this video, we are going to explore PMT function. So you are going to learn the basics and to the advanced functionality of this function. If you are looking for this video, then Please follow on in upcoming minutes. You're going to learn so much about PMT function in Excel. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it because in upcoming days, we are going to explore more and more functions about finance, statistics, mathematical and much more in this channel. So let's get started. So let me just enter that function here. Let's see what it does say. So PPMT here. Okay, so let's read it out what it says. It says to return the payment on the principal for a given investment based on the periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. Here. So consider a loan with an annual interest of like 6%. Okay, and we have already found the monthly, annually and quarterly payment here. Right. We can use PPMT function in Excel calculate the principal part of the payment only spe I am emphasizing only the principal part of the payment so let's see the arguments of such function let me just put it a header here principal part so let's just enter our ppmt here so we have a rate which is six percent i think it's understandable but we needed to do monthly rate so we are going to divide that by 12 here and in the next part it says per so what does the per mean per means which period or you can say which month of principal amount you want to know so in our case let's just randomly pick any number like a sixth period of the payment or you can say sixth month of the period payment here so next will be the NPER which is the number of periods which is 40 here and if PV will be the same here so let's just put the face value like zero and close it down let's see if we can find it or not so we found out that 6965 will be the principal amount except rate here okay it only emphasizing the principal amount I hope you understanding my point what is the principal principal amount will be the whole PMT whole payment minus rate here or you can say interest amount and if you have learned something from this video please click the like button and if you want to watch more functions like this then you should click the subscribe button to follow along all the videos we are we are going to upload in upcoming months and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please and if you want to share this video to your colleague friends or family then use the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye